I'm joined today by Sean Beveridge, who is with Lightning E-Motors, and good to be with you today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Please tell me about this van that is behind us. It looks very awesome. Yeah, this is Lightning's ZEV3 passenger transit van. It's a zero emissions vehicle, and uh, it's truly suited for commercial fleets, such as you know transit organizations, schools, the hospitality industry, uh, airports, you name it. It can be a great solution for getting zero emissions um, goals met. And what are those goals? Uh, typically, you know, it, it's to set a point in time to reach zero emissions for their fleet. That's not only for the positive environmental impacts, but the operating costs of these vehicles truly makes good business sense for anybody that's looking to reduce those costs and find a long-term sustainable solution. The event that brought this vehicle here today has been brought to you by the St. Edwards University Office of Sustainability. Ethan Tobias is with the Office of Sustainability. What all are you doing here at St. Edwards to reduce the carbon footprint? Yeah, so it's all about climate education. And I feel like that's something that our younger generation is geared towards. It's building that collective action towards these issues. And here at St. Edwards, we have a very small community, but a very powerful one where we can get some change going around the city of Austin. The cost savings is, is worth talking about. When you talk about a zero emissions vehicle, you can expect upwards of 70 to 80 uh, percent reduction in operating costs. That goes a long ways towards, like I said, a sustainable future for those businesses, those organizations to save costs, cut their um, emissions and feel good about what they're doing. So do you think you'll ever come to a point where this will be tailored for families? Uh, yeah, actually, I, I don't foresee lightning necessarily going into the um, passenger vehicle for, for, for families, mm -hmm. but it, it certainly it's capable now. It's, it's, it's the technology's out there. We can do it. You know, the biggest thing when it comes to a family is understanding the range that an electric vehicle can take them on and having a plan for charging in order to meet those distance goals and needs such as a road trip may require. But we're getting there. As the infrastructure across the U.S. develops more with charging, it's going to, be, going to become more commonplace and easier for them to plan those trips. Sean, thank you very much. Yeah, thanks for your time. This has been great.